Hello, my name is Jacob Jones, and today I'm going to teach you about gladiators. The gladiators were a form of entertainment for the bloodthirsty and brutal Roman civilians. About half of the gladiators were prisoners of war, criminals or slaves bought for the purpose of fighting. During this time, about three out of every five persons died by their 20th birthday. The odds of being a professional gladiator being killed in any particular performance was about 1 in 10. In the arena, people weren't the only things they would fight against. They would also fight against wild animals, such as lions and tigers and ferocious creatures, even elephants. There were only four main types of gladiators. The Retiarius, or Netman, who wore no armor at all, attempted to ensnare his opponent in his net, or used a net to trip the other man, and then stab him with a long, razor-sharp trident. The Thracian, so named because he resembled fighters from Thrace, a region of northern Greece, he fought with a curved short sword, the Sicca, and a small shield, the Parma. The heavily armed Samnites, or later called the Secutor, who carried a sword or a lance, a scutum, the rectangular shield used by Roman legionary soldiers, a metal helmet, and protective armor on his right arm and left leg. The Mormilo, or Fishman, was similar to the Samnites but less heavily armed and had more armor. Criminals, prisoners, and slaves were motivated for they could eventually earn their freedom back if they won enough. Volunteers were motivated by prize money for the winners, the physical challenge and appeal of danger, or the prospect of becoming popular, and also for sexual desire, for they could have their pick of pretty young women. The thought of gladiators have inspired modern day people to create such things as video games, TV series such as Spartacus, and even a couple of different movies such as the movie Gladiator with Russell Crowe. Hello, my name is Jacob Jones, and thank you for watching my documentary.